This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Algebra is a mathematical concept that involves the applications of operations and relations and the concepts that are a result of the combination of the two. The history of algebra can be traced back to ancient Egypt and ancient Mesopotamia in Babylon. The early basic algebra involved finding solutions to linear equations which were of the form ax equals b and quadratic equations which were of the form ax squared plus bx equals c. In most of the algebraic equations, there was more than one unknown. The procedures that were used to find the solutions to the algebraic equations use the same approach that is used today. The mathematics of algebra was continued by Diophantus, who originated from Alexandria during 250 AD. Diophantus is always viewed as the father of algebra. His major contribution to algebra was his compilation of books that were called Arithmetica. With his Diophantine equations, he contributed majorly to the number theory and the mathematics of algebra. The Diophantine equations were complex and were on a much higher level whose solutions were not easy to arrive at. The knowledge of the algebraic solutions then landed in the Arab world around the 9th century. It was then referred to as the science of restoration and balancing, which is an Arabic translation for algebra. Algebra is always thought to be of Arabian origin, possibly since the first algebraic work was found in the work of Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, who was famous during the 9th century. His works involved the comparison and resolution of the various basic algebra equations that were later to be renamed algebra. It can be inferred that Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi exposed the basic theory of algebraic equations. He used both examples and proofs to confirm his assertions. Towards the end of the 9th century, an Egyptian mathematician called Abu Kamil affirmed and provided evidence on the basic algebraic laws and algebraic identities which were used to provide solutions to complicated problems such as solving for x, y, and z in quadratic equations such as x plus y plus z equals 85, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 0, and x z equals y squared. Ancient civilizations denoted algebraic expressions using the use of occasional abbreviations, contrary to the medieval Arabian mathematicians who used higher-order representations that involved the use of the x raised to given powers. This resulted in the development of polynomials and the operations that are related to the manipulation of polynomials such as multiplication, division, and evaluating the square roots of the given polynomials. Omar Khayyam, a Persian mathematician, established how to evaluate cubic expressions through the use of line segments, which was a result of the intersection of the conic sections. His limitation, however, was that he could not find formulae for finding the roots of the cubic expressions. During the 13th century, Leonardo Fibonacci, a mathematician from Italy, found an approximate solution to the cubic expression of the form x cubed plus 2x squared plus cx equals d. It is, however, assumed that he used the Islamic mathematician's approach of successive approximations to find the solution since he traveled across the Islamic lands. During the 16th century, a group of Italian mathematicians, Girolamo Cardano, Niccolo Tartaglia, and Scipione del Ferro found the exact solution to the cubic expression using the method of using constants. Developments in their methods were made to find solutions to higher-order expressions. However, during the 19th century, the Italian approach to the solution of higher-order expressions was disputed by Niels Abel from Norway and Everest Galois from France. Important contributions to 16th-century algebra mathematics were the introduction of symbols to represent the elements being solved in terms of algebraic powers and operations. These contributions were made by René Descartes, a French mathematician. He laid a framework for modern algebra through analytical geometry which expresses geometric problems in terms of algebraic problems, the theory of equations, and the number sign rule which are used to express numbers as either positive or negative, and as a result, the existence of negative roots. Recent developments are being made in modern algebra to aid in the solution of mathematical problems. If you want to find more works like this essay on History of Algebra Brief Overview, head over to ivypanda.com.
It has a collection of free samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects. No registration required to access it.